Today we will study pyrazine. It is also an heterocyclic compound with two heteroatoms, but both are nitrogen. It has a two heteroatom, both are nitrogen. It is a six-member ring. Pyrrole containing one nitrogen is five-member ring. Pyridine six-member ring, but one nitrogen as heteroatom. Sigma bond is formed between carbon hydrogen and carbon nitrogen, and ca nitrogen also has one lone pair, which is not take part in the resonance. You can calculate sp two hybridization of this compound by steric number. They are not involved in the resonance, and it is also known as para diazine or one for diazine, as n is in para position. Each ring atoms are sp two. Hybridized. So nitrogen forms three bonds, two single bonds, and one double bonds, and it also has one lone pair which is not a part of resonance. All atoms of the ring lie in the same plane. It is an aromatic compound. As it is a circular structure, it shows resonance. It shows resonance, and it follows Huckel's rule, which is four and plus two. and it also act as a weak base when compared to pyridine due to inductive and electron withdrawing effect of nitrogen atom because of electronegativity nitrogen have the potential to withdraw electron from the whole structure of pyridine so it act as a very weak base so if we talk about the resonance structure of pyridine so we have two heteroatom n1 and n2 so we will name it as n1 and n2 so first we talk about if we talk about n1 n1 so we will start from this electron so if these two electrons the the one double bond shifts its electron towards nitrogen then we have a positive charge on this side which is shown in this picture this positive charge and now if then this electrons will move towards this side and then we have a positive charge here no so when this will move here then we have positive charge here on nitrogen because it withdraws the electron from nitrogen now this bond will move towards nitrogen and then we have positive charge here which is shown in this picture so if we talk about n1 of pyrazine it has four resonance structures similarly if we talk about n2 which is this n2 it also has four structure so this electron the the electron from the double bond will shift to nitrogen and then we have positive charge here and then what will happen that this bond will move here and then we have positive charge on nitrogen because this bond will shift here like this and then we have positive charge on nitrogen and now what will happen that this bond will move here this bond will move here and then we have positive charge here which is shown in this picture so total we have four four structure from n1 we have four structure and from n2 we have four structure so now method of preparation so it is prepared by the reaction of alpha di ketone alpha di ketone with 1 to di amino alkanes okay through condensation reaction you have to withdraw water from this molecule then we have an intermediate product and the oxidation of this intermediate product leads to pyrazine our final product so this is pyrazine our final product and also by epoxide ring opening reaction the epoxide ring opening reaction with ethylene diamine followed by oxidation leads to formation of pyridine derivative so epoxide jo ring hai ye open hoga and then it reacts with ethylene diamine with the removal of water molecule we have intermediate product and oxidation of this intermediate product leads to pyrazine our final product
डीमाइनोसाइक्लाइजेशन ऑफ एथलिन डाई अमाइन सो यू हैव टू कीप इन माइंड दैट यू हैव टू फर्स्ट रिमूव अमोनिया सो यू हैव टू फर्स्ट रिमूव अमोनिया फ्रॉम दिस कंपाउंड टू अमोनिया सो एन एच थ्री सो वन हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट सो यू हैव टू मालिक्यूज ऑफ एंड देन यू हैव टू रिमूव एवरी टाइम two hydrogen so suppose we will remove two hydrogen so we have one hydrogen here so you can remove these two hydrogen then you have single bond uh, you have double bond here okay then you will again remove two hydrogen from this position this position and then we have double bond here okay and then you have to remove one hydrogen from this here and one hydrogen from this carbon and then you have double bond here so you have final product pyrazine so you have to keep in mind like this so how you will move so you have to remove hydrogen h2 three times 1 2 3 to get your final product which is pyrazine from ethylene diamine now we talk about chemical reaction because we already discussed in our first slide that there is presence of two nitrogen atom and the electron density on r carbon atom is reduced due to presence of these two nitrogen atom that's why electrophilic substitution reaction of pyrazine takes place only in under drastic condition or you can say on extreme condition you have to uh, put all the reactant in very high amount or in concentrated amount or you have to heat it so the normal condition you will not get electrophilic substitution reaction you will need drastic condition or extreme or violent condition to obtain electrophilic substitution reaction of pyrazine so if we have two methyl pyrazine it react with carbon tetrachloride and chlorine we will have our final product under only drastic condition you have to keep it in mind and now if we talk about bromination Two amino pyrazine react with bromine to yield two amino three five di bromo pyrazine. It is also under drastic condition. All the electrophilic substitution reaction will take place under drastic condition or under violent conditions. So, if we talk about two two nucleophilic substitution reaction, two chloro pyrazine on reaction with soda amide. This is soda amide in liquid ammonia yields two amino pyrazine. Okay, two chloro pyrazine reacts with soda amide in the presence of liquid ammonia yields two amino pyrazine. So this is substitution reaction mechanism. And what will happen in the reduction that it will reduce in the presence of sodium and ethanol gives piprazine. and the oxidation with oxidation of pyrazine in the presence of hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid gives pyrazine an oxide so we have one intermediate product which again reacts with hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid then we have our final product pyrazine and oxide okay so you have to keep in mind that first of all hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid reacts and then we have an intermediate product and then again it reacts with the the intermediate product again reacts with hydrogen peroxide and acetic acid to give our final product which is pyrazine and oxide so what are the physical properties molecular mass appearance you will see in the picture c4 h4 and 2 we have two nitrogen as heteroatoms molecular weight is 80.09 appearance white crystal density 1.031 melting point boiling point and it is also soluble in water and acidity is 0.37 so now we will talk about drugs containing pyrazine ring so it is a lipid lowering agent and it contains pyrazine as its basic structure now this is amyloride it also contain pyrazine in its basic structure and it is a diuretic drug now we have an 
and other drug bends a mile it is the analog of amylo right this is the analog of amylo right what is the difference between both is that we have benzene ring attached here so you can see here that the same structure but we have benzene ring attached here and now we have an other compound which which is an anti cancer drug and it also contain pyrazine in its basic structure